Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombles. Just want to give you a sense of where we are in the championship right now. Uh, but I'm on the wrong page. I can't even do this part right. Basically, I think we're in seventh. We're trying really hard. Here we go. Here's the table. We are in mm, eighth. Eighth. But we have we have a game in hand, you'll see. It's been difficult. It's been difficult on professional skill level in the championship. Uh, also, we've strengthened our squad significantly. Will Grigg now plays for AFC Wimbledon. Um, your defense is terrified. Will Grigg is on fire. Uh, Liam Trotter has been complaining that he doesn't play enough. A lot of complaining going on, uh, even though he does play a lot. But we're not going to start Will Grigg or Dominic Solanke today. We're going to start John Green and John Green because they're teammates in life and in love, and I believe in them together. We are, however, going to start our fancy new 15-year-old left winger, Benny Woodburn. They, um, that's Oh, and we also have a new goalkeeper, I think. Yes, we do. His name is Halderson. Uh, I, I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't live anymore with Rafo. He's not good enough for this game. I am going to put him on the bench, though, so that we have a defender, a goalkeeper on the bench. Rafa is just, he's just not good enough to participate in, in the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys as they currently stand. I liked this guy because A, he's, he's good, he plays well, he's been really good for me so far this season, and B, um, his name sounds kind of like Hodor, and that is kind of his job, you know, is to hold the door of the AFC Wimbledon goal closed. It's a bit of a stretch, but I'm going to call him Hodor. That's what I'm calling him. All right. As a spoiler, by the way, for those of you who haven't seen too much Game of Thrones, I apologize. There is a problem today. A bunch of problems. Thank you for sending in your problems. Keep sending them in. They're very helpful. This problem comes from Anna, and her problem is, I am the only nerd in my school. It's a small school, but shouldn't there be at least a few other people who are into War of the Rings, Dungeons & Dragons, and computer programming? My closest friends don't even know the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek. What? Who doesn't know? Meredith, do you know the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek? All right, Meredith is the least nerdy person I know. She didn't sound totally confident when she said that she understood the difference between them, but uh, you do, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen a Star Trek movie? No. Chris Pine? The one where they what? Oh, the one with whales. I put that one in uh, I put that one in Turtles all the way down. I I like it so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean Anna until recently everybody everybody who everybody who is into Dungeons and Dragons or most of the time was the only person into Dungeons and Dragons in their school. Like, when I was a kid, that, like, it was presumed that if you were a nerd, you were the only nerd in your school. In fact, like, that's kind of what it meant to me to be a nerd, was that there was nobody who was into the stuff that I was into. Nice stop there from Hodor. Um, nobody who was into the stuff that I was into, and, like, nobody who kind of, like, understood what it was like to be me or whatever. That was... I think a lot of that is still true in schools. Um... I don't think that you can make your friends nerdy, although if they will play Dungeons & Dragons... Oh boy, that was scary. If they will play Dungeons & Dragons with you, they will probably learn that Dungeons & Dragons, despite, you know, having a reputation for being this, like, super nerdy, antisocial thing, is in fact incredibly social and incredibly fun, and is a wonderful way to facilitate conversations and... ah. Facilitate conversations and exchanges between people. I also would be devastated that I didn't kick that in if I were that team. I mean, we're struggling here against Birmingham. There's no two ways about it. We need we need to up the tempo a little bit. We need to get the ball into the John Greens, our teammates, our our, our love partners. It's John Green. He's on the ball. He's going to... Oh, way outside. Probably too far outside. Okay. I'm not... Ah, I got I to gotta focus. I got to focus, Anna. I got to have two foci at the same time. This and your question. I, so that that would be my number one recommendation is like don't don't try to get your friends into stuff that they're just I mean they deserve it it's, kind of, it's been a frustrating difficult challenging season and once I go a goal behind I almost never am able to come back and I just plus I'm never gonna come back with that kind of attitude am I Anna no because that's that's not the attitude of a winner that's the attitude of a person who's already lost all right, Ball John Green's going to have a throw in. And pass it there. Pass it back to Ball John Green. That's not very good. That wasn't good at all. Okay, hold on. Hold on to John Green. Step, step, st oh! 
That was frustrating. I thought I had a chance there. I don't I don't think you can like make your friends like media that they don't like. Um, I think you can try to take an interest in the media that they like and see if you can get into it because I, I my 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 personal belief Anna is that nerdiness is primarily about how you look at something rather than what you look at. Like nerdiness for me is mostly about what kind of love you have for the stuff you love rather than what you love. Like, I think it's totally possible to be a nerdy fan of, you know, soccer or, or something. Get, get, oh, how did you miss? How did you miss Ben Woodburn? I'm paying $20,000 a week for you. Oh, I think it went off somebody's leg. I'll stop criticizing you now, Ben. Sorry. I think it's mostly a matter of like how you look at what you love. That was almost a goal. Come on, somebody score. Dang it. All right. It's good saves there. I want to see a replay. See how close we actually got. Looks like we got... I mean, that's not a great shot. Need to get a little bit right or left of the keeper. Here, though, Deji Oshulaja had an excellent opportunity that came to nothing like so much effort in this world. And then I think he got fouled in the box. But what do I know? Oh, that's a good opportunity. Oh, God, you got to get that on frame. What do I pay you for? Oh, no. Liam Trotter just complained he doesn't have enough time to start to play. Meredith, guess what happened to him? Guess what happened to him? You're obviously playing enough, Liam, since... Oh, my God. You're staying out there. You're staying out until halftime, and then we'll see how you feel at halftime. I don't want to... I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't really... I didn't have, I put a center, central midfielder on the bench because I assumed that you were going to play for 90 minutes. Flip and flip heck. I think... So that's the first thing I would say is, like, can you can you love nerdily what they love? Like, I think ner Meredith actually, like, loves loves uh, reality TV pretty nerdily, for instance. Like, I think, you know, it's, it's it, it really is about how you approach stuff. Are you, And if you have friends, by the way, who, like are incapable of unironic enthusiasm or who just think it's like super lame to care about stuff, then you might have the wrong friends, in my opinion, at least. Um, and I, I think it's really, really valuable to have people in your life who, uh, who, who are okay with caring, for lack of a better term. Mm, pass it out of the back like a wimbly wombly would. Injured Liam Trotter has slowed down pretty significantly, it must be said. To your husband! Oh. Flip and flip burger. Anyway. Uh, then the second thing that I would say is, are there, are there versions, are there places where your worlds can come together? Because maybe it isn't Dungeons and Dragons. Maybe it isn't uh, Star Trek or Star Wars or Lord of the Rings or whatever. Are there places, though, where what you love and what they love have overlap? And if so, can you kind of explore those places together? I don't know how important it is, ultimately, to have similar interests to the people we... Oh, off the post! Go! What the f... Ah! How did he go off the post? I've had a very bad look. I, I think I've had a bad luck half. Obviously, we started the game terribly. Totally off the, totally off the pace. Liam Trotter does have to come off, unfortunately. I might go 4-3-3 due to my lack of a midfield. I mean, I guess I could put Dean Parrott in the game. I guess. Uh, I'm going to go 4-3-3, Meredith. It's, I'm going to do 4-3-3 holding. It's worked well for me in the past. I, I said I want to do 4-3-3 holding. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to have John Green. Uh, these, these two guys are going to switch places. Actually, it's going to go there. And then you're going to come off. You're going to come on. And... Uh, I still have to get. I still haven't gotten Liam Trotter out of the game, which was the whole purpose of this hullabaloo. And I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep Ben Woodburn. Nope, I'm taking him off. I'm taking him off. I'm taking him off. That's the final. That's my final decision. Okay. All right. That's where we're gonna. We're gonna do a second half of four three three, and we're gonna win this game, or at least it'd be nice to win it. I mean, realistically, if we're gonna stay in the playoff picture. Right now, we need we need to be winning this game. So, we're going to try to win it. Oh, taken off the ball. Terrible, terrible job by me. So, right. Are there places where what you love and what they love has some overlap? Are there things like, 
you know, for instance, it used to be pretty nerdy to like my books, and then suddenly it wasn't. That was very disorienting for me, and maybe it was also disorienting for you, Anna. But like, is there a book that your friends love that you can get into? Um, and then my last thought is, like I was saying earlier, I'm not sure how, I mean, how much of your interest do you really have to share with someone to have a great friendship? Um, I don't know that it's, I don't know it's that high. Oh, uh, why were you there instead of the other place? Oh, the positioning on this team is wretched. I don't think it's my fault. Probably is. Get there, Ball John Green. Get there. Save your husband. Pass it. Go! Everything about that was beautiful until the very end. Anna, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm failing you on every possible level right now. Okay. There, to the... No. Why? Why would you just pass it to the other team? I don't even know what I don't even know what third substitution to make. I don't have another striker to bring on. Or I do, but it's... They're, they're both far inferior to the John Greens. Who, by the way, have, have shown tremendous... Uh, strides forward. I should say that I think Hodor has had a very good game, even though he's given up a goal. Um, because it's not really Hodor... Oh, that's terrible. It's not really Hodor's fault that uh, we, we had an unmarked header in the box. Like, there's not much you can do about that. Oh my god. And then I went in with a really unnecessary slide tackle. It's also okay just to be a nerd and to find nerd friends on the internet and those can be your friends you talk about Star Trek and Star Wars and Dungeons and Dragons with I think that's that's okay like there seems to be this belief especially these days that uh, because everybody's on the internet now the nature of like what is an internet person has changed a lot I think uh, and people maybe sometimes feel like uh, friendships that they have online are not as real or as important as friendships that they have in, you know, like, physical space. And I think there's a lot of value to having friendships in physical space, to be clear. But if you want to if you want to find people to talk about that stuff that, that really excites you, um, you can do that. Like, that's the great thing about internet fandoms. And it's kind of why fandoms kind of powered the internet for the first 10 or 15 years um, that the internet was a thing. Like, you know, f people were very passionate about I'll make that change. I'll bring on Andy Bartram. That sounds good to me. Um, people were really passionate about whatever, whatever it was at the time in the 90s, you know? Um, I guess it was a lot of Star Trek, Star Trek The Next Generation and stuff. And the internet was a place to talk to people, you know, people who cared about the same things that you cared about. And so join the subreddits and if they're not toxic, <laughs> the... I can't believe I just walked the ball out of bounds. Join the subreddits. Have, um, you know, make make friends. Watch, watch uh, you know, watch, listen to podcasts and watch TV that's about the stuff that you love. Um, and maybe even make stuff about the stuff that you love. Fan fiction, fan art, whatever it is. And uh, I think that can be another way to kind of build the relationships that you need. Because it does, it does help a lot when you love something. It makes you love it much more when you get to love it with people. Like, I remember that about Harry Potter. Like, I liked the Harry Potter books. I thought they were, I thought they were good. But the Harry Potter fandom made me love, love, love the Harry Potter books. And uh, I, do think, I do think there's something, like, genuinely close to magic about that. So, yeah. Love what you love. Don't be embarrassed. And, oh, God, I almost scored. I almost scored the goal that I desperately needed to score to tie this game. We need a point here, guys. We need... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to focus... Try to focus on somehow getting a point here in the last... The dying embers of this game. That's good. That's good. You can run. Oh, God. That's unrealistic. Solanke's so fast. He can't finish, but he's super fast. Anyway, probably shouldn't be playing him out there, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I'm lost. Anna, I'm lost. Oh, hope I solved your problem at least. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.